Welcome to Archives with Elise. I'm Elise, and today I'm joined with Sister Catherine Sheehan and Catherine McWilliams. Um, Sister Kathy and I will be discussing, um, leading the discussion for today's episode, and um, Catherine will be taking care of all of our technical aspects of the episode. So you might notice something a little different about us today. You can actually see our faces. We are all recording in different locations, so we can go without masks safely for the time being. So today's episode will showcase a postage stamp in memory of St. Louis Marie de Montfort. And we actually have this in the archive. It's um, framed and usually hanging in the office, but I pulled it down so that I could show you today. So this is what we will be um, discussing in today's episode. And you can see here that um, the stamp is in the corner um, and it's affixed to an envelope. And the envelope is actually a part um, of a three envelope series. And the one that we have in the archive is um, the first in the series. Um, and we can actually bring this image up larger so that you can see it. So there's your stamp. And then um, we can look at the envelope a little bit closer as well. Um, so that is um, what we have in the archive and you can see um, that's the envelope with the actual um, postage seal as well. Um, and the stamp. And then um, we can also just briefly look at the second envelope in the series. Um, and that's di different imagery. And then the third envelope. So if we can just go back to the image of the stamp, we're just gonna talk a little bit more in detail about um, the actual stamp. And I'm just gonna start with the origin of the stamp. So this stamp came about um, after the French Ministry of Post um, responded to a request from the Father General of the Montfort Ministries, as well as um, a request from several others for a postage stamp in memory of St. Louis Marie de Montfort. And this stamp was published in 1974, um, a year after the tricentennial. And it was a part of a, the 1974 series um, that was dedicated to the memory of um, celebrities in France. So um, it appeared 47 years ago in February of 1974, and it appeared at the birthplace of Montfort um, with the caption, first day. If you look at the stamp um, in the bottom right corner, you can see the cost and value of this stamp. Um, so it's the 50 plus the 10. So the actual postal value of the stamp was 50 centimes, um, but the actual cost was 60 centimes. And that's where you see the plus 10. And those 10 centimes went to um, France's Red Cross. Now, I was a little curious about um, the value of the stamp today, so I did a little searching and I was actually able to find um, several of the stamps still on sale. So if you want to add them to your own collection, you can still do that. But um, on stampworld.com, this stamp is selling for $1.83 um, and that's in U.S. currency. So um, just to go a little bit more in depth um, into the description of the stamp. So you can see the portrait um, on the left side of the stamp. And that portrait featured was designed and engraved by M. Jacques Comba. And um, then the signature and the name can be seen on the bottom left side of the stamp. So that is the um, designer and engraver. The profile on the right side of the stamp um, was drawn from the statue of St. Louis Marie de Montfort um, at um, the birthplace of Montfort. And um, you can just see that there. 
And on the left hand side, you can see uh, the bottom left um, in the green, you can see the hands joined in prayer. And that really portrays the man of prayer and the contemplative that Montfort was. Um, looking at the colors, you can see that the design is done in tints of sepia greens, browns, and reds. And if you look very closely, now we have the stamp pulled up for you, so you can see this better. If you were looking at the actual stamp, um, it might be a little harder to see, but um, you can see um, the famous vision of Ezekiel in the green area in the left. So in this vision, there are four figures. And you can see the human being, the eagle, the ox, and the lion. Um, and they're called the four living creatures. And then beneath it, you'll see um, right between, uh, right near the hands in prayer, um, the wheel. And the wheel on the earth is beside the living creatures, and there's one for each of them. So it's a beautifully designed stamp and I am going to turn it over to Sister Kathy, who is gonna talk a little bit more about the symbolism in the design and um, just how the episode came to be. Thank you, Elise. Just to say a little bit more about what is displayed in this stamp. Our source of information was the publication entitled The Montfortian Echo. We have had a few collaborators involved in this episode. After a previous episode of Archives with Elise, Sister Rosemary Greco inquired about the stamp. Sister Jeanette, our general secretary at our general headquarters in Paris, provided us with the edition of the Montfortian Echo from 1974 that described this stamp. And finally, Sister Anne Nielsen and Sister Barbara O'Day translated the document from French to English. There is a rich symbolism in the design of this stamp. The four figures, as Elise mentioned, the human being, the ox, the lion, and the eagle, who are called the four living creatures represent the visions of Ezekiel and the book of Revelation. These four living creatures symbolize the universality of God's presence, the four columns of the throne of God, the four gospels, and finally heaven, the world of the elect, sacred space, in short, total transcendence. Wow, that's a lot, quite a bit, I would say, for a little stamp. So to simplify things, the general sense of the vision is the spiritual mobility of God that is not attached to the temple of Jerusalem, but followed the faithful, the chosen people into exile. The four evangelists, the gospel writers, the prophets, all who bear the word of God to the very ends of the earth, make God's mobility possible and ensure God's presence to people in whatever part of the universe they find themselves. We see in this stamp, the central figure of the captivating design is the living creature depicted as the face um, of a man. And the artist's depiction follows the descriptions given in the Bible. The wings cover the body. But also, if you follow Monfit's intense gaze, he sees the vision directly in front of him. One can discern a feminine image for which the wings form a kind of robe and whose head is surrounded by a halo. The writers suggest this feminine figure is a hint of the Blessed Virgin Mary, described as the perfect personification of the living creature with the human being, with the face of a human being. This depiction ties in with the writings of Monfit, which he is so well known for, 
and that express his deep devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Okay, so um, I hope you enjoyed the discussion today of um, this postage stamp. Um, thanks for joining us. And as always, if you have any questions or if you have ideas for future episodes, you can email us at dowarchives at gmail.com. <laughs>